This is Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Back in May, during the Democratic primary debate for New York District 14, AOC had this to say about her congressional office. But I am happy to, to say that our office has set a record in that we have received two congressional uh, awards, the first, uh, the first in history where a freshman office, um, and we share that honor with Congresswoman Donna Sh Shalala, uh, the first in history where we have received two of these congressional uh, awards for congressional operations in innovation and, and culture. <laughs> Confusing, I know. At the time, I legitimately had no idea what she was talking about, so I had to do a little research. It turns out that AOC was referring to the Democracy Awards that are handed out by the Congressional Management Foundation. The CMF is a nonpartisan nonprofit in Washington, D.C., and that means that these are not congressional awards. I'm proud to be able to serve our community and to have an award-winning constituent services office. AOC was missing one small but very important detail. Her office hadn't actually won a democracy award, let alone two of them. According to this April press release, while AOC was named as a democracy award finalist in two categories, the CMF hadn't announced who won yet, stating that the winners would be announced in a few months. When I reached out to the CMF back in May, they confirmed that they hadn't chosen the winners yet. Uh, the first in history where a freshman office, um, and we share that honor with Congresswoman Donna Sh Shalala. She has no idea what she's talking about. Even if AOC did win, that's not how the democracy awards work. In each award category, the CMF picks an equal amount of Democrat finalists and an equal amount of Republican finalists. There are two winners in each category. And when the winners are chosen, only one Democrat will win and only one Republican will win. Um, and we share that honor with Congresswoman Donna Sh Shalala. The only honor that Ocasio-Cortez is sharing with Florida Representative Donna Shalala is that they are both freshman members of Congress and they have both been nominated for two awards. But AOC skimmed over the press release and thinks that she won and is sharing two awards with Congresswoman Shalala. But fine, whatever, she got important details wrong. What else is new? But it still means that she was a finalist and could still win, right? Well, in October, the Congressional Management Foundation finally announced who won. And the winner is... Not AOC. Bet you saw that coming. <laughs> so, why didn't Ocasio-Cortez win? Probably because, unlike the other finalists in her category, she was the only one not to tape a short video talking about her office. Instead, she had her chief of staff tape something. I guess AOC was too busy playing video games. I really, really, really hope that I don't get imposter first. Way to mute yourself. <gasps> uh, yes. Too busy doing photo shoots for a Vanity Fair cover and too busy taping very substantive interviews. I like to put some lemon in my water and I try to drink it pretty slowly and mindfully. I'll try to look at the clouds passing by, just really slow down for even a minute. <laughs> yeah, much more important. If you can't take the time to tape a five minute interview for an organization, why should they go out of their way to give you an award? The biggest reason that she didn't win was because she claimed that she won the award months before they were even announced. All because she didn't read a press release properly. I'm proud to have an award-winning constituent services office. So the lesson here is, if you're gonna brag about winning an award, make sure that you actually won it first. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching, sharing, and hitting that like button. Be sure that you're still subscribed to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Parlor at Don't Walk Run. And as always, hope to see you next time.